What's up guys and welcome back to Broken Age on the PlayStation 4. So it occurred to me while editing the previous episode that we have the Driftwood now and we never showed it to Curtis, I think his name is. Let's uh, give it on to him and see what he thinks Hi. about it. Hey, Bella. Oh no, I think I'm just talking to him now. Hold on, hold on, here you go. Check it out, non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh man, I feel a stool coming on. Nice. Uh, oh, uh oh. Um, whew, that's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Okay, cool stuff. We have a free stool. <laughs> the poop jokes are real. The poop jokes are really real. All right then, so. Let's uh, head on over and talk to a certain friend, a tree friend, and see what he thinks about our wonderful stool. And maybe we can get him to puke about it. That's how excited he'll be. Wahaha, <laughs> evil zebra. All right then, so let's, um, yeah, go on through. And then let's see what he has to say about it, because now I'm curious. Uh, here you go. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? Yep. You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> oh no, I wanted to pick that up oh, with my bucket. Sorry, did that upset you? You monster! Hmm. All right, let's see if I can't use like my bucket on it now. Mm, no. No, excuse me. I I control you, main character. Can I do this? Oh, okay. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? Nope, there isn't, because I'm going to make you puke again, buddy. You can still see the grain of the wood. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now it's full of that sap. Awesome. All right, we're making a little bit of progress here. Wow, it's getting thicker every second. Strong stuff, kid. Don't mess with it. I don't think there's anything else we need to mess with it with. So let's go. I don't really know what else we can do with this. Maybe we can give it back to the dude and he'll be like, oh, thanks, and put it on his head. And then the story will end there. Monk Jatha will come and kill us and the credits will roll. Something like that, right? Um, Here we go. Maybe he'll do something with it as she slowly walks and gives it to him. Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? I don't. I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. Okay, she knows. I don't. At this point, I'd try anything. He seems very depressed. Hey, Clarence, bring that load down here, will you? Okay, well, then let's I give hope it a you're shot. Right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Let's watch. Okay, so we're gonna use the sap with that. Here comes a wave. I can't look. Oh, okay. I guess we already did it already. What I tell it worked. you? Worked. Now that's a sandcastle. Looks like we're in business. Hooray! All we need to do now is get those maidens in tune. Hmm. Okay then. So. We got that going on now. The waves won't be ruining it, I guess. <laughs> cool stuff. Let's see it ourselves. Cut this ribbon already. Oh, okay. You tell them, non-maiden. The ribbon is there for your protection. The arena is still under construction. Okay then. So we just need to encourage these ladies to keep going to actually be ready for the feast. Then, then let's give them this. Or I don't know. Maybe we can just talk to them at this point. What's up, maidens? Uh, I guess they don't really have too much for us. Never mind. See you maidens later. So like, they just need to be ready for like, we'll, we'll just take this. Like art? Um, we are Ugh. Art. Okay. Uh, this. But that's not a good use for a stool. You bet it isn't. Um, I don't know. You know what would make that outfit complete? Feathery shoes. Our outfits are perfect. Hmm. I'm back to being lost again. Uh, can I take these? I don't know. Can I? These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been stolen. Girl, this is a point-and-click game. Nothing's useless. I don't know what I should do here. 
Hmm. Oh, well, maybe we can do some of the seagulls? These seagulls seem to really like fish guts. There's a lot of them, too. These seagulls okay. Seem to really um, like maybe I can do some of the seagulls. Here, have a brethren. No way. They're just my size. I'm you just them. offer them to the end. <laughs> She's being silly today. That's not a good use for a stool. All right. That I just, I don't know what to do at this point. Oh, man. I went from making such good progress to not making any progress at all. Oh, man. What should I do now, then? All right. So at this point, the only area I really haven't been in is going back to the tree area up in the clouds. And I doubt anything has changed there, but it's most definitely worth a shot, if anything. So... Let us go and find out. Uh, oh, here's my, I was like, wh where'd my joystick go? Or wherever the point and clicker went, it's over here now. Now I can go up and hopefully everything will work out. Um, let's uh, do this. Here we go. Can we go on up? Uh, come on, there we go, okay. So we're still permitted to go up, right? She's not gonna attack us or anything? Cause that wouldn't be good. Okay, we're good, all right, let's go. And I'm sort of missing Jay's story at this point. Hopefully we can get back to him soon. I really don't know what's going on with him, but oh, there's peaches up here. And peaches grow. Can I climb this tree maybe? No, I'm falling. Oh boy, hmm. I don't know, can I find a way to get collect something? I've never really adventured this area too much because the dude face sort of, you know, I think I messed up here. So maybe there's still something I have to collect here. And I just never noticed it until now. Um, just gotta keep looking around. Or maybe I can click the peach with the stool. That's something I didn't piece together. Cause there's nothing over here. This is pretty barren on the underside of the clouds. So let's go back up and see if I can't use the stool to collect a peach. Climb on up. I mean, you would think she'd be able to just grab a peach on her way down like she's just about to do. But nope, she can't do it the easy way. Um, hmm. So where is the peaches? There's one right here. Oh no, oh no. Maybe I could find a low hanging hmm. branch. So maybe if I get my cloud shoes on really quick, quickly, <laughs> fallen, fallen quickly. Um, maybe I could, uh, yeah, here's like a lower hanging one, but still not low enough, right? Give me some oh, oh, oh no, it did, Damn. but, oh gosh. Um, can I, oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know. I don't know what to do then. That's not a good use for a stool. Uh, hmm. I don't think that would get me anything. Nah, that doesn't need any. I can't Give really get these fruit. because they just fall right through. Dang. Hmm. I'm really Give not sure. Some fruit. Oh, now it's in the nest. Okay, that's actually good. Ah, ouch. <laughs> I fell, but the bird saved me. Thank you, bird. All right, then. Let's go back down, then. Now that I can actually benefit from being down here and um, get that peach. That peach is mine. It's mine, I say. Hmm, firm and punch. Now, I don't know if we're supposed to bring this to the uh, people. I don't know what we like. Is this the, the answer to the puzzle? Because I don't think it is, but we can do something with this. And seeing how we could have gotten this, you know, before we even left the cloud area for the first time, I'm thinking that maybe the answer to this part of the puzzle is probably in the cloud area. So we'll probably just start bringing the peach to people at this point. Maybe like you will use the peach for something. Uh. Want some fruit? Data doesn't know. Oh, that's right. You're more partial to drumsticks, which is a little sick, really. <laughs> it is when you think about it. All right then. I don't want to disturb the mother-child reunion. I'm not, I don't want. I, I, I don't. don't want to disturb the mother-child reunion. I don't want to either. I, I want to leave. I want to get out of here. All right then, we'll just use the peach with everything and everyone we see. Um. Then peach to you guys. Oh wait, no, no, well, no. See you two what? Later. No, it's tower. Yeah. Anybody want some delicious fruit? No thanks. Gotta stay light, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, then you. Would you like it? <laughs> Just gonna give it to anyone who wants to take it. Come on, walk faster, Vela. You're so slow. Want some fruit from that big tree over there? No thanks. Chipped a tooth on a pit last time. I bit into one of those. Hmm. I don't know who's gonna want one then. So I've made my way out here at this point, trying the peach on just about everybody I could run into. At this point, you know, it's a little bit of a grind just trying new things to see if they work. Um, I think it. I think it either has to be the people guarding the place or this tree. Want some fruit? The sweet flesh you tore down from the arms of its mother? Yep. No, thank you. Oh. Also, that fruit has a big pit that's kind of a pain to deal with. They all have a problem with the pit. Is that a part of the riddle? I'm, I'm second guessing myself because I don't remember the riddle. So let's go back 
And I think those ladies are still trying to sing the Mog Chathra song. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna, we just gotta get those ladies some auto-tune. <laughs> Maybe there's an app they can get for their iPhones. Either way, I'm just gonna go over here and take this peach, you druids. <laughs> she runs so slow. Oh, good artist. la 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 Check it out, fruit. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't wanna get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit inside. <gasps> oh my god. It's so simple. Why didn't we get that? Oh man, that's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. Oh. Okay, then, we're going. We're going in. Hooray! I went with this Becky girl once again. Running around. Ooh, it's a disco party in here. <laughs> okay, then, so we're reaching new places. What is this? Guess this is where they buried their old god. Uh, maybe. I wonder what that symbol means. A lot of mystery going on. There's that symbol again. And again. That symbol is so strange, but familiar. Sure looks like a turtle or something. It's that same religious symbol, but this one is recessed, like a socket. Hmm. This is sort of weird. I don't know. What is that a symbol of? A three-legged bull? I thought a turtle, but maybe not. Maybe these people worship donuts? Ooh, I mean, that's not a bad religion to go into. I don't mind donuts. Such strange shapes in here. Hmm. Oh, and there's lights up here. Can we, you know, let's examine these lights up here. Oh, there we go. Just gotta examine everything at this point. The top of this pyramid is Wait a minute. So I just pieced it together. What is this thing? Oh, it works. It totally works. Whoa. We did something. And then the sarcophagus opens and the god is reawakened. Or something like that. Oh, who are you? You fancy. Man, my mouth tastes like death. Oh, hey, you found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. Who? What? Uh, what? Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. Oh. Were you really dead? No, nah, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. Oh my. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into chrysolation to tell you the truth. Hmm, so this guy's just been chilling in sleep mode for 300 years. Talk about missing that snooze button. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? Probably when not. When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. Mm, not quite anymore. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. Oh, why? I'm gonna need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. Oh wow, this is getting a lot more expansive than I thought it would be. Okay, see you later. We will continue uh -huh. talking to this person in the next episode. But wow, now the plot, it re-thickens. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And if you enjoyed, make sure to give it a like and share it with your friends and family. And comment in the comments section below, what do you think about what the, the crazy stuff happening right now? By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.